Life in a world that keeps changing Think that it's progress you're making Copy and paste pretty faces All the time Picture so perfect we play Hello wonderful people, welcome back again to Anointed Lady TV The home of news and politics And we drop news every day And we also react to every videos that comes our way if it is your first time in this channel you are highly welcome thank you so much for stopping by and if you are returning subscribers we appreciate you for your massive support and we say may god richly bless you all for supporting this channel and if you haven't subscribed please kindly smash on the subscribe button put on the bell so you get to know anytime we drop a new video i have a video to present to you this very moment and i will be watching that video with you and after watching let's drop our opinion constructively at the comment section like our videos and also share our videos if possible bye for now we they come to an live from rumola junction rumola and one of the most popular places for port harcourt where they you know link to various parts of river state so Rumala, they along the this junction they along the Potakota Bar Express Road, and it also fit link you to the Ikwere Road. And I hear where uh, the River State Government build or expand the flyover we've been there. So this now one of the new flyovers there where the River State Government build, or in this case now they expand them. And now it's there in use. And so the gov the government also redesigned this junction. So the junction now they redesigned to enable free flow of traffic. And as you can see, I'm so now so it there for Rumola. This now the popular Rumola junction where they for Port Harcourt. And as you see so now, traffic. They flow well. Traffic, they flow well. They fly over, they don't they walk, and of course, you know, people say traffic they flow under the flyover and above the flyover. Now Rumoland and one of the places where the River State Governor for the statewide broadcast been mentioned say no street trading will happen around this area. This is now one of the many uh, roundup um, junctions the way the government built. So we get the Rumola flyover, we get the Rumoba flyover where they for artillery area. We also get the Rumokoro or the Okoro Nodu flyover where they for the Rumokoro axis. And the governor for in broadcast been say, in long band every form of street trading around this area. So in Nanta say make people not paste any poster for the flyover walls, make people no sell along the road. And so far so good. We don't see some kind of compliance this morning. Because the governor been accused the traditional leadership for this area say, you know, then they collect money, they allow people to trade for the Rumola area. So we say people can't see how things be. Because the government say it will take action. And so far, so good. This morning, when we come here, the street trading, to some extent, we see them, then they comply. But we see, say, this part today, we have some of them, they don't, some of the street traders, they don't enter this, this place, be like barricade where they enter inside. And at there, we see them, then they inside that barricade. Somehow, we see, say, then they comply. If not before, before um, this time, you go see say people go there along this road, this walkway, where are they now? You go see say people go there here, then they sell um, something, things where people go chop, clothes, face masks, handkerchief, and just petty, petty things. So basically, we don't they see compliance for the... Um, other way government give and we see say no street trading they go on for this rumola area now apart from this matter of street trading because the governor say 
that street trading in all good and they don't want time for the states you know want street trading around the flyovers because of the dangers where they pose and of course if they deface the flyovers then the governor also don't take practical steps against illegal oil bunkering where they don't identify saying that one of the major causes of the black suit pollution where they for river state for the past five six years now people for river state people for port Harcourt city especially that they complain say black suit they worry them if you clean your nose you go see saying a black thing there inside your nose if you come out for morning now so everywhere they black and foggy and so they can't identify saying that people where they do this uh, illegal oil bunkering activities illegal refining now them now them where they're responsible, where they contribute to the black suit situation. So yesterday for the broadcast, the River State government also mentioned 19 names. Say now them where they accuse them. Say them the pe people where they behind the illegal coal fire business. So you know already tell local government areas, local government chairmen for the 23 local governments. They made them look their local government area. Any person where they into this uh, illegal oil bunkering activity make their report to your office. And now these 19 names where the governor mentioned, you don't already tell them, say, make their report themselves to the police because they don't already give their uh, details to the police for investigation. And if they get hand, they will carry them, go court. So these are among other things where the governor, you know, he don't mention concerning how he want the state to be run. But concerning this uh, illegal oil bunkering team, let me talk to some people. You see this Oga? Oga, good morning. It will be BBC PG. Now we talk about this one where governor don't mention some 19 people, you know, for illegal oil bunkering, you know, concerning these suits. Uh, pro problem. What do you think about them? Honestly, it's a serious problem in the river states. So I think if the, if the government has said to take such step, I don't think it's wrong. We want the suit to go. We don't know how what any any state the government thinks is good for people to live well in the state. This state has a lot of people inside. We don't know the effect of pollution to the health of the uh, uh, city. So I think uh, government, government and uh, community and everybody should come to the round table and look into it. I mean, we want a safe place, we want a safe community, we want a safe state. So, government will not sit down and watch the citizens, you know, dying. It is the right state. The other, um, the, the other side of it, the people that are doing it, I don't also blame them. It is the economy that is the economy. I think there should be a meeting point between the government and the people. They do this illegal poor fire business. This morning now, as you see the uh, situation, now how you think about them? Uh, the situation is getting worse than the uh, What I arrived at is that there is employment. If there is employment, those boys that are uh, putting the oil, that are making the oil, that they will come out from the street. Then they will not enter work. Let them open those factories. Okay, so if you feel say this one where government don't they fish them out, you know, go really they effective. Okay, so now we don't see about the street trading now. So most of the street traders are not there for the road. How you see them? You like them? But this road now, for this room all now, we don't see all those street trades the way they go on. You like as the road day like this? The street traders and they know day. Some of them they no come out today. Okay, but so they never come back. But government said don't ban street trade, you know. Uh, 
they burn it. Well, I they burn it. They burn it for the seven minutes because they are not supposed to burn it. There is no job. Many of them are paying us like school fees and without trading, they cannot do all those things. So finding of um, traders eh, is shivo. Hey, but government does say then they compromise security now, say then they give information where they cause all these kind of uh, things to they happen. How you see that one? You know, look at from that other angle too. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for talking with us. So now so we see our for Port Harcourt. We don't they talk to some people about the black suit uh, situation. And of course the this is sister. If you put your mouth for this uh, black suit situation where they worry Port Harcourt uh, people, Governor. Uh -huh. When you go back to the house, your feet will be done. And I heard that Okay, so the governor now don't trust anybody where they do all this illegal uh, bunkering. Make them maybe arrest them and then uh, report to Ram. So what do you think about this move of government? Because government don't already mentioned 19 persons now. Where they don't cut uh, these people, then they're behind this uh, co fire business as a way to stop this suit, oh, as a way to stop us. So, what do you think about that one? To stop it, Abby? All right, well done. All right, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, we